Hey friends, how you doing this afternoon? Hey, I'm sure everybody watched a little bit on the, the stimulus bill. Old Biden's little speech on TV there. Now, if you notice Biden, he never took his eyes off that teleprompter in a, in a dead trance trying to read off his teleprompter. What other people wrote down for him to say. and It's a shame that they're using this man for political gains. A man that's not capable of even giving a speech, a man's not even capable of having a conversation, a man that can't even answer questions to the press. And then they make up a bunch of lies for him to get on TV and lie to the people that they have did all this on this COVID. They've took, they made the vaccines, they're doing this, they're doing that. It's all bullshit, folks. You can't take away from what Trump did, whether you like it or not. You can't take it away from him. But they're trying, and the idiots out there are going right along with it. Yeah, boy, that old Trump, he never did nothing. You know, it's unbelievable what this country's turning to, this stimulus bill. Anybody tell you about old Nancy Plepso out there in Silicon Valley at the Transit Railroad or whatever you want to call it? It's a little over $100 billion in this COVID-19 budget. New York City and a lot of the others, New York states, getting this money because they've blowed their friggin' money. What does that do with COVID? They give free education and free health care to every damn illegal in New York State, New York City. Now, the money they didn't have because they know that the government would reimburse them when they went broke. Us taxpayers. You know, us taxpayers, whether they be white, black, Hispanic, whatever, we're all getting tired of you taking our friggin' money and paying everybody else's way that don't want to do what's right in society. They don't want to work. They don't want to do nothing. They want to live in these welfare houses, free cell phones, free health care, free dope. We're getting sick of it. You know, now we're bailing out the, some of the unions here of this COVID-19 relief bill that their, their, their retirement funds is bankrupt because their leaders have stole money out of it. They've donated money to campaigns, to Biden, and all these Democrats that they really couldn't afford. No one was going to get the money back. And us people, us working people that ain't got retirements, <coughs> we got to pay these people's retirements now. Bullshit. I ain't got nothing against the unions, but don't expect me to pay your retirements. You know, folks, this country has went to pure hell in less than two months. Now we're more worried about transgenders, gays and lesbians. All you hear is racism. Everything is thrown up. Oh, this COVID-19, it had a $4 billion farmer's package aid in it, aid for farmers. Now that's $4 billion if you ain't a white farmer. Anybody else but a white farmer can get this money. Bullshit. I mean, this is unfucking believable what they're doing in this country. You know, just like old Wolfrey Winfrey on there, and this Megan Mark or whatever the hell her name is, and this uh, guy ain't no fucking prince now. He got kicked out of the princehood. But you know, they get go on Wolfrey Winfrey, and everybody thinks, oh, look here, man, they're telling this story. You know, they got $7 million to go on this show and lie. Orford just had to bring it up. Well, I guess they like people of color. What was her magazine? They, they don't. They, they don't care much about brown people. And you know, the, they they welcomed her with open arms, but she didn't want that. And Prince Harry, or whatever the hell his name is, he better be a little twat, little little. Uh, Little girly fied uh, idiot, I guess, really what you'd say. You know, folks, it's not racism in this country. It's not racism that you don't want to get off your ass and go to work. It's not racism other than what the Democrats has did to you throughout the years. Now, here you're worshiping Joe Biden like, oh, my God, it's the best thing that happened since ain't Jemima Serp. Joe Biden hates you black people. 
And you just can't figure this out. Well, he's giving us $1,400. So it must be a lot of love in that. But you know, most black people, not all, you can't even, your kids can't even get education. Not a snowball chance of getting nothing. Now, buy them a promise you the fucking moon. But they don't deliver nothing. He didn't want your kids in white schools. He didn't want no more blacks up there in Washington, D.C. in the government. Got enough of them. National television. But you're all too stupid to go watch it. Oh, that was lies. Biden, he, he misspoke. He meant to say, more blacks, the better. That's why you want to twist the words. You know, folks, if we keep this COVID-19 bullshit up, it's over with for this country. You know, here are the immigration now. How many are we going to let come into this country? How many children is Biden going to let come into this country to be raped and, and sodomized? How many is getting it on the way to the border by these, these people that deliver them to the border? These kids ain't making it on their own. They're coming up here. The people's bringing them. They're being paid by these Hollywood elites so they can have children to rape, boy. Oh, ain't nothing like raping the children. Yeah, we need to change the laws to where it's legal. Legal to rape children. That's what they want to do. And you good pastors on Sunday, you won't say a word about this, boy. You know, I think some of you pastors actually like to watch the little children some because you don't ever mention what's happening to children in this country. You ain't got the balls, or you you just you actually want to see it pass the laws maybe where you could have the children. Is that what it is? Or are you just afraid to say something about the government that they might take your little tax free status away? Now which is it? Do you like children or you want the money? It's gotta be one of the two. Personally, I'm sick of it. This damn gun bill that they got in the house now that we can't sell or transfer a gun between private individuals is total bullshit. Just to start. Just to start of doing away with your Second Amendment. My Second Amendment says I got the right to protect myself from an evil government. And damn if we ain't got an evil government right at the moment. We got the most crooked government, a bunch of slimy ass so called Democrats up there that's ever been in the history. Now, they're not the Democrats of JFK's party. And you ignorant-ass older people out there that think they are, you're pretty fucking stupid. These Democrats are evil. They're devil worshipers. All they're worried about is transgenders, raping children, pedophiles. Yeah, take innocent people's guns and leave them for criminals. Putting more dope on the streets than ever before out of Mexico. Yeah, even putting Oxycontins back. Something that Trump had it under control. Now, I feel sorry for the older people that got them took. But damn, if they never took a lot of them off the streets. But that's okay now. And old Biden said, you, we got to have these dope heads. They'll vote for us if they're junkies. You had plenty, Mr. Biden. You didn't need to change things. My God, folks. Are we going to stand, are we going to just sit on our ass and let these people destroy our country? That's what it's looking like. It looks like they're going to win. You know, I hate the day when they come to try to take my guns. They're not going to shut me up. It's my right. My right as a United States citizen to say what I want to say. My rights don't again. My rights to a lot of things. But now the only rights in this country is if you're a, a welfare thug, is you treated like a king, and the people that's paying the tax dollars to keep you up are treated like shit. That's about what it amounts to. God bless you. Think about it. You, you, you pastors really think about it. Think about this pedophile, these child children getting raped. Can you imagine hearing these children scream when they get raped? Can you imagine it? Think about it when you go to bed. Maybe you'll dream about it. Then maybe you'll get the balls to say something about it to your congregation. If they're in your congregation and they believe in this shit, they're not Christians anyway. If your pastors don't speak up about it, then you're not a, you're not a Christian either. 
Only one group in the country, folks, can change America. Only one group. That's the Christian people. You don't have to live at the foot of the cross, but believe me, then if you better not follow some of the Bible. The engineer, it's all wrote down in black and white. Some pastors say, say that the revelations is a myth. Read it. Definitely ain't coming true word to word. And now we've got a Satan in the White House, surrounded by devils, and they're out to destroy the greatest country on earth. And just remember, folks, all these people rushing to the United States. And our leaders are saying it's a shithole, but everybody's wanting all these shitholes to get to this country. So let's wake up. I don't know what we're going to do. But Texas is uh, trying to stop this illegal immigrants. They got away from this freaking COVID-19 bullshit. They're open back up. Florida's been open. Don't hear much about what's going on in Florida other than people's flocking down there as vacation. Don't hear much about this COVID bullshit down there no more, do you? Yeah, back week had a big crowd too. Wasn't too many people worried, was it? Nobody but politicians. You know... Just like these masks, these shots. If you want to wear a mask, wear it. If you want a shot, get you a shot. Just don't fuck with the people who don't want to do it. God bless you. Talk to you later. Appreciate you.